video 18. Uh, this is the new 12 volt battery to run the 12 volt stuff in the car. Uh, it's a headway 16 amp hour, um, four cells all put together in a series configuration and just plain old 12 volt battery and uh, no BMS at this point. I'm probably going to put one on though. I'm looking at a, a couple of uh, small ones uh, to take care of this 12 volt battery to kind of keep it maintained good. And of course that's hooked up to the uh, the DC to DC, the 72 to um, 12 volt uh, inverter there, I can't see, not enough light there to see it, but, and plus the new power supply, uh, new power charger rather, uh, that's plugged in over here. So all this comes out to the front now, and uh, clips in over here, where these two, this cable's pulled apart at the moment, but uh, that ties into the, the front battery pack, which now we have the, uh, the 72 volt pack is all back in. And the motor controller is back in. I got that back from the shop. They uh, fixed it up good for me. It works great now. Everything is uh, coming on the way it should. And I get so I get everything all wired temporarily in. Get that new box there uh, in. So let's see. I think we can uh, turn the car on here for a second and see what happens. Well, you can see we've got. Um, 10 volts uh, showing there, and that's only because it's on the getting pre-charged voltage. And as soon as I turn the key to start, uh, which I'll do here in a second, I turn the key to start, you'll see the uh, the voltage jump from from 11 volts up a whole lot higher. But you're also going to hear a big click, and what you're going to hear is the contactors in the front engaging. And uh, once again, the dashboard resets for the. You turn the start key, it always turns off the uh, some portion of the power, so I think I may have to rechange that voltmeter to key off a different set of power. Uh, anyway, as you see, uh, we have 78 volts there sitting on that pack right now. So at this point, uh, we got three green lights on. We should have a solid green light here on the controller, uh, which we do, which means the uh, car is ready for uh, input now, throttle input. So I'll come over this side here and press this throttle just a little bit once again and uh, watch this back wheel spin up just a little bit. Now that we've got 72 volts we can give it a little bit more power. So I'm going to add a little liquid. Uh, probably just put some water in the motor cooler, the uh, liquid cooling system for the motor right, for the now, and uh, I have not much left to do but put the driver's seat in. And I actually took the fan out, the fan that I had put in there, decided it was too small, and I uh, put the screens back in for now, and I've, I've got a bigger fan that I've purchased that's going to be that's a, a more recommended fan, so this one's uh, in the midst of uh, being prepared to go in instead of that smaller uh, you know, round and it's lower CFM fan. Uh, so anyways, besides the fan, which I'm not going to need until I really start pushing the car a little bit with a lot more power than what this battery pack will do. But for the moment, we got the uh, the new small lithium pack in. I think I'm going to rearrange stuff in the back here. Put that charger in the middle and put the battery pack maybe in the, the converter in front of that. So uh, Something like that. We'll see.